Hello, hello. Is this is this better? Ayan. <laughs> Ito. Can you guys hear me? Sige. Um, just checking the audio here. Ayan, yeah. Be ready to claim the welcome gifts. That's right. Be ready to claim the welcome gift. Uh, there, there. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Di pala ako headset. I'm not using my mic. My headset pala ako. And so, yes, um, thank you, Mahar, for letting me know. Okay, um, there we go. So yes, today we are talk. We have our welcome webinar for new flippers: how to start a work from home career. And um, it it would be great if you share this with others as well. Um, hit that share button just to let others know. Maybe you have family, you have friends who you want to bring introduce to the world of freelancing and let them know about I. Sorry about that. Let them know about itong work from home career, like what it's all about and all of that thing. Let, let me just fix my computer here. Okay. Okay. I think that is fine. Ayan. Yes, let me know. Are you guys ready to claim your welcome gifts? We ha we do have welcome gifts that we're going to be giving out today. Um, so yeah, let me know. Are you ready to claim your welcome gift? Okay. Oh, yeah, how would you like a gift, Diba? Right? We have the welcome gift for for everybody. Um, well, well, the sound should be okay now. I hope. I think we have the welcome gift for everybody. So yes, we're, I'm going to give you instructions on how you can claim your welcome gift. So bago kayo dito, um, I'm going to give you give the instructions at the end of the webinar. Para sure na tatapos niyo yung webinar, diba? Right? So you won't just um, be there at the beginning. <laughs> You'll finish the webinar. And we're going to give you those welcome gifts. So here are the welcome gifts that we're going to give you um, for attending this webinar. The first one is the five must-have tools to start working from home. So it's it's a guide that we've created. Um, the five must-have tools to start working from home. And then also the three most common mistakes that newbies make on cover letters. So, um, Yung mga tools and yung mga mis diba, usually when you're freelancing, you write cover letters um, and you want to avoid these mistakes. So I don't, the, these two things, the five must have tools to start working from home and the three most common mistakes that newbies make on cover letters. So once again, the instructions are going to be at the end of the webinar. Wag na ngayon, at the end of the webinar para you guys won't drop off. You'll listen to the whole webinar. Um, Okay, so jumping right in, um, letting you guys know about Flip, okay, the Flip group. So you might be thinking, what is Flip? So, so I want to ask you, sino member ng Flip dito? Let me know, raise your hand, say hi, let me know na member kayo ng Flip. Say, I'm a member of Flip or, or ano, <laughs> Flipper here, ganun. And if you're not a member of Flip, I invite you to join. Okay, I invite you to join. If you're not a member of Flip, just search in Facebook, um, Freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group. So why should you join? Okay, why should you join? Well, if you're not a member yet, you'll be able to see that Flip, is, the Freelancers in the Philippines group, um, we're an educational and support group for those that want to learn more about working from home, especially as online freelancers. You might have more questions about the online freelancing. And we'll answer later in the webinar. But itong support group, um, you know, the support group is uh, you guys. You know, the VA bootcamp. We're one team. We're a company. We're we're a team. But we can't always provide support to everybody. So this is the support group um, where you can get questions answered. Ibang freelancers, even if newbie kayo, even if bago kayo, um, I. I you know, I, I want, I, I'll ask you to join the group so that you can get guidance and get help. But it's always better when you have help. Ayan, mga flippers dito. Hello. Um, Q, ready na. <laughs> uh, member na siya. Hazel, yes, yes. Uh, Jenny, Rhea, um, Chriselle, Marian, um, you're welcome. Lenny, flipper, si Erich, si Pia, uh, si Ver, mga flippers dito. Ang dami natin mga flippers ngayon. So, so I guess I'm gonna ask. Sino hindi pa flipper dito? <laughs> Who here is not yet a flipper? Para you guys can also join the group. Alex Kindo, yep, VA bootcamp graduate. <laughs> Ayan. Um, 
once again, you for though you can share this with those who are not flippers. If you want to, if you want to let them learn about freelancers in the Philippines or, or freelancer freelancing, itong working from home. Share your link. Hit that share button. Share this with them. They can even watch the replay as well. Okay, marami mga flippers dito, diba? and some people who are not. Pero yeah, we'll ask you to join the group because it's a support group, man. It's a free support group, so wala namang bayad. Um, now just some simple rules for our group, okay? So, so a few very simple rules. Um, you know, you can post questions, you can talk about mga topics related to online freelancing, mga working from home, things that are important to you. Pero we have some rules here. First of all, um, no self promotion. Okay. No self-promotion. So if you're selling any products or services, um, even maybe you have mga networking, diba? we see that a lot. Sometimes mga real estate, mga networking, mga post mga groups. So that's not allowed in our group. Okay, We want to keep it more of educational and informational. Um, so no self-promotion allowed. Second is no trolling. So what that means is um, yung maaasar. Diba? So that's not, we, we don't allow that in the group. We want to keep things friendly. Um, we want to keep things friendly uh, between the members. So, wag mga aso yung mga comments na ikaw na yung mga ganun. Um, no trolling uh, allowed in the group. And and be open, you know. Um, open-minded ba kayo? <laughs> be, be, be open-minded, you know, just, just be open to receiving information, to receiving feedback um, so that, you know, you can move forward in your journey. Diba? You, can, you can start working from home. You can move forward in your journey to start working from home. Yeah, may mga ano, may mga not yet members here. So yeah, please join if you're not yet a member of the group. So these are just some simple rules. All right, so let's go ahead and and, and go to our fast talk portion. And this is parang where we answer more common questions. So about freelancing, about working from home, and all of that. So this is the important part over here. Um, what is a freelancer? A lot of people ask, what you know, we talk about work from home. We talk about um, you, you know, we see the pictures, the online freelancing, and we say, you know, freelancer, freelancers are the people and who are working from home. So what is a freelancer or what is a VA or what is you know, work from home? Ano ba yan? Well, just to give you parang an introduction as to what freelancing is. Okay, so simply put, freelancing refers to being self-employed. Okay, you do some work and you get paid for it. You can get paid by the hour or you get paid by project okay self-employed so meaning wala kayong employer pero you're self-employed so let me give you some examples I, that might be confusing let me give you some examples kung ano ito mga freelancers so in parang in the real world in the physical world we're used to seeing different kinds of freelancers we see them for example you may mga makeup artists that are freelancers these are these are people that are self-employed so um, usually, the back up on a wedding or a event, you know, you call a makeup artist, and then um, the makeup art artist gets paid per person that they do makeup on. Well, the employer, the 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 wedding, the wedding planner, then like invites a makeup artist is not their employer, pero they are hiring the makeup artist and their team to do the makeup for the entourage or the, the and so on, right? Um, also, yung mga freelance manghihilot. Of course, we have yung mga manghihilot who are in um, like Nuatai or Thai brand and things like that in the in the um, massage salons, diba? We have those, pero there are freelancers. So meaning they're not working under a specific company. They Usually, they charge like for one hour massage or hot oil and things like that. Um, and so those are types of freelancers. There are even mga carpenters who are freelancers. So in... in the gist is they're offering their services, okay? So yung mga makeup artists are offering their makeup services. Yung mga hilo, they're offering their massage services. Yung mga carpenters, handymen, they're offering their services. But when you call a carpenter, you're not the employer, better you pay them. Um, you're calling parang a self-employed person, okay? So yeah, yung mga makeup artists and hilo and other professions for offline work, those are offline freelancers. So they are self-employed. Mga professional sila, okay? Um, and if we translate this into services over the internet, okay, mga services over the internet, and we'll go over what are these different services later on. But if we translate this into services over the internet, that's when we've got what we call online freelancers. Okay, we've got online freelancers. So 
Uh, you might have heard of some examples of different kinds of online freelancers. You know, virtual assistants, mga graphic designers, you know, blog writers, and these are people who are providing services over the internet. Okay, um, over the they're, they're providing the service not person, but they're doing it over the internet. So online freelancers, sila. Okay, um, and if you have any questions, I can't access the link. It shows content unavailable. I'm not. Oh, yung, yung group. Uh, yeah, some people are having trouble with the links. Yung, I think kay, yung kay Marilyn, uh, because there's a slash. Okay, and if you have any questions, guys, please let me know in the comments. Okay, please let me know in the comments. If I'm going too fast, um, or if you have any questions that we can go over, let me know in the comments. Do you guys have any questions right now, or is it clear? Let me know in the comments below. Clear, ba? Or, or I know, or not clear. <laughs> Okay, me delay. There's, there's like a 10 second delay between what I see in the comments, now what you type and what I see in the comments. But yeah, let me know, is it clear? Or if, if you have any questions, always feel free to ask the questions. Okay, that's that's what we're here for, to provide you information to help you out clear. I am clear, but okay, no question. Okay, so um, we know we kind of have an idea of what a freelancer is. So the next question here, the next commonly asked question is why should you work as a freelancer? Why? Diba? We know what it is. Now, back it. Why would you work as a freelancer? Well, there are different reasons. The number one reason, all right, clear, clear, clear. Daming, sabi, clear. Good, good. Making it sure that it's clear for everybody. Okay. M the number one reason why people work as freelancers is because of money. Diba? It's because of money. So, when we're talking about mga newbies, yung newbies parang new hire sa trabaho, diba? New hire, yung mga bago. Um, newbies, they, they can usually earn mga 20,000 pesos a month, okay, when they start off as freelancing. Um, after one year, it's not hard to earn 50,000 or 100,000 pesos a month. After parang one year of practicing freelancing, improving your skills, learning new things, you can earn 50K or 100K a month, okay? It's not that hard to reach that level. Okay, so money is actually the number one reason why people start working as freelancers. You can earn more. Second is time freedom. So you have freedom of time. Most of the time, what, what time you work doesn't matter. So usually when we go to an office, um, call center, so we did night shift, like 9 p.m. to 6 in the morning. 9 p.m. to 6 in the morning. That you have to work during those hours. Or parang typical office work, maybe it's say 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you have that time na you can't do anything else. They're restricted kayo, diba? Now, in freelancing, most of the time, the when you work doesn't matter. Because you have deliverables. Let's say, uh, let's say the client, the person who hires you and who pays you money. Um, the client needs you to create, parang, to create a document. It doesn't matter anong oras magawin yung document. Diba? What matters is that you submit it by the deadline. Yung mga deadlines lang. So when you work, doesn't matter. What matters is that the work gets done. Okay, so that's time freedom. A very big reason because especially sa mga moms, diba? mga moms who are taking care of their kids, um, time freedom means that, you know, they can take care of their kid and then do some work habang natutulog and then take care of them again. And then parang they can work their schedule around it. So they can still be able to do work, still be able to get paid um, even on a let's say restricted schedule na they have to take care of kids or something like that. Next is location freedom. So you can work anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer and you have internet. Okay, that's, a, that's the important thing. As long as you have a computer, as long as you have internet, you can go to, well, wag mo ngayon because we have um, corona, <laughs> COVID ngayon, right? But you can go to, let's say, Boracay uh, and may internet naman dun. So you can, you can, you know, you can, during the, during the day, you're, you're at the beach, and maybe at night, you're working. Ganun. So you have location freedom. Anywhere in the world, you can visit your, your family. Um, others, they visit you know, people in the hospital. And then, habang nagbabantay ng, nagbantay ng uh, person in the hospital, they're doing their work. So location freedom. I've been able to work around the world, around Asia, around Europe, in the U.S. Like the travel ako before. And still, I was still able to do work for my for my clients. Still able to earn money um, as long as there's internet. As long as there's internet, that's the most important thing. Okay, and then we have no traffic. Diba? No traffic. Um, so when 
this is something, especially if you're in Metro Manila, but even in Cebu, traffic na ngayon, uh, nowadays, well, recently, it's been traffic. Uh, so there's no traffic. So you don't waste time. You don't waste energy spending hours traveling every day. I know though there are those that are parang, um, working in, who, who live in, let's say, Cavite and work in Manila, and they spend two, three hours. How about you guys? Do you, when you go to work, um, do you spend time in traffic? Or how much time do you spend in traffic? How much time do you spend around traveling to work every day? And lastly, we have career fulfillment. Okay, we have career fulfillment. So what's great about freelancing is that you can focus on any skill, on any area that you'd like to focus on. If you want to be a writer, Sure, you can be a writer. If you want to um, do graphics, graphic designing, then go make mga logos, mga drawings. That's fine. That's that's not a problem at all. You can focus on that. Um, if you want to work in Excel, Microsoft Excel, work with numbers, you can focus on that. So you can have that fulfillment. Unlike usually, so work, you're forced to do a job parang, that you don't like, that's not in your area of interest or area of skill. Pero you're forced to do that. But in, in freelancing, you have the full film. If you want to know about marketing, you can know about marketing in so many areas that you can explore. So I want to ask you, out of these reasons here, we have money, time freedom, location freedom, you know, traffic, you know, career fulfillment as reasons as to why you work as a freelancer. Which one of these resonates with you? If you're thinking, okay, if you're, you're thinking about becoming a freelancer, which of these reasons is the most has the most weight for you uh, that, that you you go into freelancing so, okay i'm looking at the answers here um you mga traffic two three to four three to four hours really every day that's 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 like so much wasted time you know you can do that with that time you can spend time with your family or you can read a book you can you can watch korean telenovelas or, or do whatever you want diba? Um, two hours, two to three hours, grab it to one hour. 30 to one hour, not so bad, diba? not too, so bad. Um, two hours, 30 to 45 minutes, motorcycle. Hopefully you're not doing that like sa EDSA, diba? and you're not, you're not riding a motorcycle sa EDSA naman, diba, Erich? Um, but lang mga short distance lang. Two hours, one way, two to three hours, one uh, one way pa yun, diba? So two to three hours, one way, si Alex, two to three hours, one way. So magiging like six hours, diba? six hours every day. And every day is only has 24 hours, so parang one sixth of your time is spent in traffic. Uh, that, that's a lot. That's that's one sixth of your life. If you live to be 60 years old, that's like 10 years or more than 60. Say 90 years old, that's 15 years of your life that you're spent in traffic. That, that that's that adds up. I'm um, going to middle two to three hours. Oh, Five minutes. Oh, okay, yung five minutes. Um, so yeah, see Lenny, career fulfillment. Uh, see Q, time freedom, no traffic, time freedom. But you can work anytime you want. You can take care of kids. You can bang, watch TV. You can go out with friends, and then work. But oh, you have to. You kailangan discipline ka rin, diba? You have to have that discipline. Na when you're not, when you when you're supposed to work, you should do your work. Money, <laughs> very important. Time freedom, of course. Extra earnings, so all of the above, especially money and no traffic. Um, time freedom, time freedom, no traffic, time freedom. Um, but less about time freedom, more than the money, right? more than the money, the time, the, 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 the parang ha having control over your own time, right? um, spending time with family, right? yung time freedom, na yun. time freedom, din, right? uh, maalaga ang mga bata while working. That's what Mahar does. Sometimes mag meeting kami ni Mahar, she has her kids there. Uh, career fulfillment, right? be with my family anytime, time freedom, oh, time and traffic, the pay. Sa Cebu lang po. <laughs> ah, Cebu lang. Okay. So, oh, same pala tayo sa Cebu. Money, pero traffic na rin. It's getting more and more traffic here. Traffic and money. Uh, sa wala sa corporate world, 23, 23 years. Uh, yeah, parang yung fulfillment. Having a career while at home. Yung time freedom. Time freedom, diba? That, that's parang the number one reason for, for a lot of you guys. Um, even more than money is, is the time freedom okay so thank you for answering that question no at least you see what others their 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 main reasons and for yourself do you have a reason why you'd want to work as a freelancer maybe you want time freedom you want to spend more time with your family maybe you want to do the, more of the things that you love aside from work right? um, I, I just uh, play play games 
<laughs> but pero may time freedom you know just do you have that freedom freedom but you do it you do whatever you want okay the next question next common question we have is can anyone be a freelancer can anyone kahit sino ba well we hear these statements a lot oh di para sa akin yun high school grad lang ako or ah di kasi ako magaling mag english you know we, we hear these statements or di kasi ako magaling sa computer di para sa akin yun diba? we we hear people say these things na they're not college grads diba high school grad lang um they're not perfect sa grammar not perfect sa english or they're not very good sa computers diba and and diba, these are valid fears the people have these fears na i shouldn't do that kasi hindi ako magaling dito sa area na to pero you have to realize that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so the following doesn't matter okay these don't matter we have mga successful graduates of VA bootcamp who are freelancers ngayon um, who are earning like 50,000 or 100,000 pesos na high school grad lang walang walang college walang college experience okay and same thing we have mga successful freelancers who aren't very good in english i mean okay naman sila diba? as filipinos we know how to speak english pero hindi naman perfect we have successful freelancers na dati hindi magaling sa computer. Pero what they did, okay? What they did is they they worked hard. What they worked hard because you can learn how to use a computer. Uh, practice lang yun and, and, and learning lang yun. Um, you can learn how to speak English. You can learn how to improve your English. Um, so it takes hard work. But if you want to achieve itong mga sinabi natin kanina, if you want to achieve these benefits, diba, you have to be able to work hard. And we've seen a lot of people, na high school grad lang, na hindi perfect yung English, um, hindi magal- hindi aren't that good with computers. Sa tulad kung if you're bulag, if you're so if you're blind, um, we I've I've seen freelance. It's it's challenging, diba? It's challenging. Pero there are I know of um, one freelancer na blind. Um, see, I forgot her last name. See, Rhea. Um, somebody help me here. I forgot her last name. I did an interview with her a few years ago, and we had the student sub boot camp who is um, who is well hearing pala sa kanya, um, who who is partially deaf. Yeah, so we have there is still it's it's more challenging, but there are still opportunities. Okay, so the following doesn't matter. Okay, the following things here don't matter. Your age, age doesn't matter. Okay, um, gender doesn't matter. Babae, lalaki, um, bakla, tomboy doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. Education doesn't matter as well. Education doesn't matter. Um, if you went, if you're only until high school, that's fine. That's fine. You can still learn. But you can still learn. Your background doesn't matter. So. Back to education. Unlike yung mga, if you work sa corporate, diba? if you apply a job, let's say, um, sa companies natin, diba? you usually kailangan ng college grad. Even even working in, let's say, yung mga departments are kailangan ng college grad. Pero when it comes to online freelancing, you don't need you don't need to show a diploma. Hindi naman kailangan. Hindi kailangan. Maybe you know you learn some things in college. Pero people don't look for that. What they look, what they care about, what companies clients care about when they hire online is that you can do the job okay that you can do your job no matter how old you are no matter what gender are gender you are no matter your educational background no matter your work experience as long as you can do the job now okay that's what matters most okay if you can if you can show to the the client if you show to the company that you can draw it doesn't matter they won't care what your education is they won't care how old you are as if you're good with creating designs that's that then good diba? if you're good with make making posts in facebook diba? and does these things don't matter what matters is that you can get the job done diba? same here i want to try but i don't know how the genius say, saying helen's i don't know how to start clarita din but we'll get there we'll get there we're, we're doing answering these questions one at a, at a time grace did diba? so we'll we'll answer that question in a bit it's part of the presentation then okay and yes if you have any questions just feel free to type them in yes yeah uh thank you mahar Rea guntalilib the blind freelancer so if you search Rea guntalilib um you'll find she is a blind freelancer. She's still able to earn even though she is blind. She has parang braille the keyboard. Um, 
and then I think audio may audio na special mga special equipment, but she's still able to earn as a blind freelancer. Okay. Next question. Next commonly asked question is what kind of work will I do as a freelancer? A lot of people think, you know, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. No experience. Um, like Sabni Grace, Dito or Clarita, I don't. I, I want to try it, pero walang experience, and you don't know where to start. So a lot of people ask, what kind of work will I do? Well, that's important. You need to know what kind of work you're going to do if you want to go into freelancing. So what kind of work will you do? Okay. So there are so many different kinds of work that you can do. Okay, so many different kinds. And I'm just going to give you some examples over here. There's data entry. What data entry is, um, one example of data entry is, um, for example, uh, yung mga doctor, diba? they, 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 they do right. Oh, oh, man, ang hirap ng doctor. Um, let's say mga, mga business people, um, they, they take notes, diba? meeting notes. They use paper and pen. And what they'll do is they'll take a picture of it. They'll take a picture of their phone and send it to you but uh, what you're going to do is enter it into, let's say, Microsoft Word. Enter it into a document. Okay, so that is data entry. Um, others they have like magazines that you need to encode and so on. So, can you guys do that? Can you? Well, depends, of course, the handwriting, right? the handwriting of of the the person who's sending you their work. Pero, diba, right? If you can, if if you have a picture of of handwritten notes, is that something that you can do? Right? Oh, tin data entry, your forte. Transcription. So what's transcription? Transcription is you're also writing, typing on the computer, um, but this time you're listening to let's say an audio or lis you're listening to a video. Or as th this is very common in mga seminars, right? So mga seminars na um, people want parang written written versions. So what they'll do is they'll send you a recording of the seminar, kiting audio or min send me a video then, and you're going to listen and you're just going to, you know, type, pause, type, type out whatever the speaker is saying. It doesn't sound so hard, right? So that's some of the work that you can do with a freelancer. Next is email and calendar management. Ito, you kind of need experience uh, or, or you kind of need to know how to use things like Gmail or Google Calendar, things like that. So um Managing emails, replying to emails, making sure they go into different folders, calendar management. A lot of the times, you're the people we're working with are mga busy na, na CEOs. Okay, they're busy, hectic yung schedule nila. So your job is to make sure, example, may mga meetings sila that that, that it'll fit. That, that you'll be able to schedule their meetings um, properly. Na walang conflict, ganun, diba? So it's not it's not something that requires a college degree. Diba? Um, Oh, I can do it. Sabi ni Joe, I can do it. Um, data entry and transcription. Let transcription, like minutes of the meeting. Oh, minsan minutes of the meeting. Minsan parang verbatim, word for word. I think more common yung word for word na transcription more than parang summary. Kasi minutes, parang summary lang. Diba? Next kind of work is office applications. So what we're talking about are things like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Creating office applications. So, uh, if we're talking about Excel, that can be complicated. Diba? If, if, but if you know yung mga formulas in Excel, maybe sa dating work mo, or even just working Microsoft Word, niba creating mga designs sa PowerPoint. So, it might take you a long time. Pero you know how to add pictures, yung mga animation, yung mga, and, and these are these business owners. They don't have the time to do it. Pero may mga presentations sila. Presentation to that. So, uh, you being familiar with office applications, that's some work that you can do as a freelancing. Um, could a manager possibly be hired as data entry or VA? Oh, oh, Angie, uh, as long as you can do like some of the work here. Riba. And if you don't know how to do it, you can learn it. Yeah. Doing research on the internet. Uh, so, now we the internet, we were always searching, always like on Google, on Facebook. And we're on Facebook right now. Doing research on certain topics. That's something that, that that's some kind of work that you can do as a freelancer. Social media and website management. So you have a Facebook page of these companies. Example for mga dentist. Mga dentists in the United States, they're usually they don't spend time on social media. Pero kailangan pa ng social media presence, right? So they can get more customers, get more patients. So they pass the job on to people like us, diba? on onto people like us to manage their social media. Mga messages, make sure we reply to them. Um your website then making sure that the content is updated, updating the things on the website. Yeah. 
e-commerce store management. So um, these, this is a bit more complicated because you need to parang managing stocks, managing orders, inventory, suppliers um, of e-commerce stores, of mga online stores. And then all of these things, by the way, um, all of these things that we mentioned here are things that we teach in the VA bootcamp, and that's the the paid course that we have. You can learn this on your own, but we teach. If you want to enroll in the bootcamp, we also teach this um, in the VA bootcamp. Um, other more technical things: search engine optimization. That's a bit more technical. Um, designing websites, making websites, um, creating Facebook and Google ads. Okay, that's something you can do as a freelancer. Email copywriting, so writing mga emails, um, blog writing, writing mga articles. Making graphics, drawing, graphic design is part of Photoshop. Diba? Manipulating sa Photoshop, and there are so many mga tutorials that you can that you can study to learn things like this. Okay, illustration, ito, sa, sa drawing, um, programming, and bookkeeping, and so many more things. So these are just this is just a sample of the work that you can do as a freelancer. Okay, um, and I want to ask you right now: Can you do these? Do you think there are things here that you can do? Or, or what things can you do right now? Kahit wala kayong experience of freelancing. Diba? A lot of you guys said, wala kayong experience of freelancing. Pero seeing this list right here, which of these things can you do? Okay, I'm looking at the questions here. Um, always ko po no, watch yung about freelancing. Gusto ko po try. Hindi ko alam where to start, you know? Well, choose from the list here. And then we, we I'll show you like where you can apply for jobs later. Um, hi, sir. I just want to ask for an XOFWC, Mary Balianca. As a nurse, to be exact, I'm a little bit confused how I'm going to write my resume. Um, well, we don't have the time part to cover about creating. We have more blog posts for that. OK, uh, Mary, uh, we don't know. It's not covered because I'm a job. I usually type in job shop, for example, convert, uh, convert my PDF into Word file. So you can type. Ka. Yep. Yep, I've seen a lot of that. Is there training available for the skills? We do have a training. Um, I'm going to talk about that later. We also have a training if you want to learn these skills. Watching. Uh, do I need to sign up to the free course first? Um, Heidi, can I submit? Can I have the link for the free course? Can somebody reply to Heidi to give it the link for the free course? Uh, may chance. Oh, may chance. Man. May chance. Uh, start for data entry. Oh, data entry. Where can we get uh, data entry? Do I, uh, even some. Even if you start muna sa data entry transcription, yung mga simpler stuff, diba? these are these are the more simpler the simpler things. You can start there muna, and then you learn more, diba? Um, but with freelancing, with freelancing, you're constantly learning new things. Diba? You're constantly learning how to let's say maybe you don't know how to use Microsoft Excel, and you learn how to do it. So you're constantly learning new things about eight to ten things. Sabi ni Joe, I can do some of the list, Eric. Oh. Um, I want to learn graphic design and illustrator. Oh, you can. There are lots of tutorials. Some uh, um, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, where can we get clients? We'll talk about that later. Uh, FreeVAcourse.com. Thank you, Anna, for the link. All right. Um, so as you can see, there are things here, or, or there are things that you can do. Right? You can do do data entry, email, email calendar management, office man, office application management. So there are things that you can do, whether it's a past experience, you know, or maybe like you're on a computer right now. So of course you know how to type. You know how to type, um, and you can practice if you want to learn how to type faster. So you can't really say na I I can't do that job. Because people right now you can see based on this list there are things here na pwede mong gawin. There are things that you can do even to start off. Okay, um, Lynn, uh, weekend kasi ngayon, we are our admin team might get back to you on Monday the latest. Uh, day off sila minsan <laughs> on the weekends. Okay, um, next question, next common question. What do I need to start working from home? Ano bang kailangan? Okay, to start working from home. So very simple. Uh, just a couple of things that you need to start. First of all, is internet. Okay, you need internet. Okay, all of us um, have internet, right? Um, or even if you're well to watch, I think I don't think you can watch videos on free Facebook, diba? So all of us have internet, and you need a computer, and you need skills to offer clients. We talked about skills kanina. Diba? We mentioned the skills earlier. So you can, even if you're just typing skills, that's where you want to start. That's fine. Um, internet, you need to have an internet connection. My recommendation is at least 20 megabytes, megabits per second, yung 20 Mbps na connection. Medyo mahirap yung mga 3, 5 Mbps. Okay, 10, okay na. Per mga 3, mga 5 Mbps connections, medyo mahirap because um, hindi, it's not that reliable. Connections again. So I'd say 10 or better 20 
na MBPS collection. Computer, um, you know, you have to have a computer. Even if you don't, yung iba, they, they started, walas lang internet, walas lang computer. What they did is they, they went to internet cafe muna to learn things and to start sa jobs and, and they can they, they can get paid. And then later on, either nag borrow ng computer or they bought their own later on. So parang yung iba, they started off uh, kahit sa mga internet cafes muna. Okay, so this is what you need. Internet, access to internet, access to a computer, and skills, skills to offer clients based on the list na we saw earlier. Okay, um, is it possible that internet is wired? Oh, oh. Um, okay naman. Uh, I use, ako, I'm always on wireless, but uh, wired is usually better than wireless na connection. Um, it's more reliable. Yung mga wireless, diba? Wired kasi it's, it's parang continuous. Yung wireless, baka may mga interference sa wireless. Uh, so that's, that's better. Um, all right, all right. Yeah, the people question like where to apply and so on. I'll, I'll, that's, I know. Oh, well, this is the next question. Diba? Where can I apply for jobs? Diba? A lot of you are asking this question. Where can I apply for jobs? In Umidaho. Uh, maybe I can do some. I'm a market. I'm just reading the question here. Marketing major, but never tried to, been tried to apply in a corporate setup because my first job was in academe. And also some backgrounds. But yeah, you can try it, Tiba. Right? You can try it. It's it's. I'd say go ahead and try. You have a number of skills here, Rose and Augustine. You have a number of skills already, so try it. Uh, I want to do data entry, also application. I have also internet, but how, Tiba? Right? Oh, so here, where can you apply? For jobs, uh, a lot of you guys are waiting for the, the answer to this question. Some of apply for jobs. So there are a number of places that you can apply for jobs. First of all, are things we call online freelance job websites. So these are where you know, companies post jobs online um, for mga freelancers. So uh, the most the the most popular website where jobs are listed are is Upwork.com. Okay, so you can you can take notes. Um, write it down, Upwork.com. That's the most common freelance job or the most popular freelance job website, Upwork.com. There's also onlinejobs.ph. Onlinejobs.ph, this is for Filipinos, Filipinos only. Yung mga, yung mga freelancers dito ay puro Filipino. Um, and yung mga clients are usually foreigners. Uh, just like with all of these other things, yung mga clients, the people who are offering the jobs are usually foreigners. Pero sa Upwork.com, there are also mga Indians who are applying for jobs. Um, even yung ibang mga Americans who are applying for jobs. Online jobs, mga Filipinos lang. And these two are the most popular. Like, katalasan sa mga work that people get are in these two websites, Upwork.com and OnlineJobs.ph. But aside from these two websites, there are also other freelance job websites. Pero once again, these two are the biggest ones. So even if you go on the websites right now and check it out, you're, you're going to see different jobs that are available. What you know, you create your profile. Yung parang bio, you you submit parang bio data or CV with your skills and so on. But yeah, these are the two most popular sites. There's also things like Guru.com. There's Freelancer.com, and um, a lot of others. Pero these are the biggest freelance job websites. There are over 100. Um, pero we're focusing on well Upwork and online jobs, the biggest two, and others like Guru, Freelancer, and so on. Um, there are other sites as well that you can apply for jobs. Pero we don't recommend them. If bago ka palang, we don't recommend them because it's more complex. Okay. Um, first of all, LinkedIn. You can also apply in Facebook groups. Okay. You can get jobs um, by posting on LinkedIn, finding mga companies or finding individuals. All the same thing in Facebook groups um, based on among the discussions. So Facebook groups. Okay. Um, others, uh, si Blanche, nag try po ako sa Upwork. And uh, ako go through Viru, si Virusha Salt. Um, here up po ma-accept sa Upwork. Um, when you're starting out, uh, yung free up then, yes, legit yung free up. That's actually, I didn't include it here. Pero it is a legit na freelance job website then. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't include it in the list. Yes, yeah, so um, these are the, the sites that I'd recommend. Uh, these four, well, the, the top two, and then the other two. Well, for Blanche, Virucha, maybe you want to try like online jobs at PH also. Um, try applying for jobs there. Or maybe you still need to, parang, improve your profile, improve your offer, um, have more skills that you offer to potential clients. Okay, the next common question is how can I get paid? How can I get paid over the internet? Well, nowadays, we have e-commerce, fund transfer, but um, that's usually local. It's international. Uh, the most common way to get paid is with PayPal. 
So, and there are other services as well. There's uh, Payoneer. Um, there is, I can't think of the other one. Not, not uh, ko name, pero sige, PayPal and Payoneer. What they do is, I'll show you here. But first of all, what you do is you create an account with PayPal or, or Payoneer and so on. So the client is going to send your payment to PayPal. Okay, so they send it to PayPal. So they're like a middleman. Um, and what they do is they accept, let's say, U.S. dollars or U.K. pounds or um, euros. They accept the currency in that denomination, and then they convert it to pesos, and they can deposit it to your local bank. So they have um, PayPal, Payoneer, these other companies. They have agreements with banks, agreements with lots of banks, so that they can work together You do and do international transfers. Internal, international fund transfers. Uh, if you're a newbie, what would be a fair offer per hour? Uh, depends, uh, Joy Abrick. It depends on your skills. Uh, normally, if super, as in super newbie, without experience, accounting skills, um, the minimum usually is $3 an hour. Um, but if you're a newbie, if you have, depend on your skills, then you can charge five or eight or something $10 per hour. Um, you work with the UAE. Well, I was hired through LinkedIn. Nice, Rhea. Nice. I don't work with Rhea in, in UAE. Uh, are all VA jobs on Facebook legit? No, um, they're not. Uh, we have uh, we have a video and a blog post about the scams. Uh, somebody maybe can reply and provide the link. It's not part of the discussion, but we do have uh, a, a blog post and a video about that. Vanessa, can we get training certificate? Po? On your courses, like we have our own course that we provide a training certificate did. If you want to check it out, I'll talk more about it later. Improve your portfolio. Yes, that's one of the things. Um, so Upwork. Improve your profile, improve your portfolio so that you'll be your profile will be accepted. So Upwork. Uh, tra uh, TransferWise, that's another service. Thank you, Mar. Uh, TransferWise, that's one other. My PayPal account was hacked. Ooh, but with difficulty. You think I should create a new PayPal account? Um, Gerard, you have... You're not supposed to have multiple PayPal accounts. That's their terms of service. So it's better if you get it sorted out with them. Sorry to hear about that. And a hacking PayPal account. No. Chemist. Wow. Um, that's a that's a pretty intense job. You, you know, being a chemist there. And well, a freelancing. I'm not. Well, I'm not familiar with my chemist openings, but for sure there are you know, laboratories that need maybe researchers and so on. Okay. It uh, doesn't look like we have any other questions. So moving on to the to the next question here. Why is it best to start as a virtual assistant? I mean, we usually, when when people ask us, like, what should I do as a freelancer? What we tell them, we advise them, is usually to start off as a virtual assistant. And, and these are the reasons why, why it's best to start as a virtual assistant. When we say virtual assistant, you are a generalist. So you work you work with different skills, you mga basic skills. Hindi ka expert sa blog writing, hindi ka expert sa graphic design. But maybe you do a little bit of editing, you do a little bit of design. So virtual assistants, they're parang personal assistants. So they get assigned different kinds of tasks sa clients nila. Okay, maybe they'll do some transcription, they'll do some postings sa Facebook, they'll do a little bit of different kinds of tasks. So virtual assistants are generalists. And it's not that difficult to learn to become a virtual assistant compared to some other work because parang you you're you're you can do different tasks, but you're not an expert in any of these areas. Okay, so generalist. Because of that, you also get a chance to try out different kinds of work before specializing in one. So let's say the client assigns you, okay, um, I'll, I'll create some designs, also post on social media, and then you find out, oh, you don't design, you're enjoying creating designs. So you can focus and specialize on creating designs, okay? So try it different areas, and you can choose to specialize in one area. Also, you can you can earn a good amount of money still, even as a generalist, itong virtual assistant. Yes, you can earn more if you specialize and become, let's say, a graphic designer or a social media marketer. You, uh, focus on a specific area, but you can earn like twenty thousand pesos, thirty thousand pesos a month as an entry level freelancer as a virtual assistant. Okay, as a virtual assistant. Who here? Who here is a virtual assistant right now? I know a lot of you guys are um, not yet not yet being paid as freelancers, but uh, who here is a virtual assistant? 
Um, Daricel, is desktop better than laptop? Depends. Depends. Um, we have a whole article about that also. But desktops are usually cheaper. Laptops are more expensive, right? Um, they're, I'd say the same. If you're looking at specs, the same. Um, desktops are cheaper. Laptops are more expensive. But laptops, you can carry them anywhere. Right? So that's the biggest difference between the two. And if may you can you know if may brown out or may problems with internet, you can bring a laptop anywhere. All right. All right. Um, Okay, next question. Do you need to enroll in a course? Diba? A lot of you guys were asking, um, sana ko makakuha ng course? And people ask, kailangan ba ng course to become a freelancer? Kailangan ba mag-enroll? And we offer a course, right? We have the VA Bootcamp. Um, but to be honest, the answer is no. Diba? We have, like, even if you go on vabootcamp.ph, we have a lot of free videos. We have mga free courses. We have a lot of free blog posts. That you can that you can learn on your own to become a freelancer, diba? Hindi naman kailangan to enroll in a course. But if you do choose to enroll in a course, it'll make your journey easier, diba? It'll make your journey smoother, um, and you'll be able to get guidance. You'll be able to get coaching diba? from from the course that you enroll in. And usually, courses are structured better um, to parang give you the to me, it'll make more sense rather than watching YouTube. Maybe magulo if you just watch YouTube videos, but you can still learn that way. Okay. Our own course is vabootcamp.ph. So if you want to check out our course, the course that we offer is on vabootcamp.ph, um, vabootcamp.ph, or vabootcamp.com. Um, either way, vabootcamp.ph/slash enroll. You can check it out there. Um, VA aspiring VA. Uh, I, I am a VA and confused where to focus. Okay, well, that's okay, Heidi. You know, you can try different areas, pa. I'm a VA and someone wanted to get a part-time job. Uh, that's nice, Q. Uh, I want to go home. I miss my child. Oh, okay, that's why you want to be a freelancer. Yeah, that, that's a very good reason, Rhea, why why you'd go into freelancing. And you have a, you know, you can use your experience then as a, as a chemist. Um, I'm sure that you can use your experience. I'm not. I've seen mga pharmacies hiring, um, but that's not my area, so I'm not too familiar with it. But if you look like an Upwork and so on, you might be able to find some mga jobs that ha that require my experience or knowledge of chemistry. Uh, guided Hustle Challenge, yes. Um, former tourism faculty, you gave birth, always dream of working from home, but I don't know where to start. Um, well, you can start, well, we mentioned earlier about what you need to get started, and you can create profiles on those websites I mentioned earlier. If you're late, um, there's always a replay then. Uh, we won't go back there. You can watch the replay if you're late. live discussion. Oh, sorry to hear that. But there is a replay. Uh, if you have budget, yes. But if you don't, you can make Google and YouTube your very best buddy. Yep, there are a lot. Okay, I'd love to enroll in VA price, VA courses, but pricey. Um, we have, well, our, our, our VA bootcamp skills package starts at 140. 1490, 1490, um, new installment package. So you can start there. Uh, that's that's our lowest that we have. Okay, so now going back, to, so these these are the most common questions that we get act, uh, asked. Okay, these are the most common questions that we get asked when it comes to freelancing. And you might, who is there to help? A lot of you guys need help, you need guidance. And like we mentioned, in, in the Freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group, um, my recommendation is join it, and you can get a lot of help there. There are mga admins in the in the Facebook group. There we have a lot of moderators, and we have over well this is I haven't updated this picture, pala. We have over a hundred, I think over 123. But I think it's how what's the current number right now? We have over 123,000 members in the group who are there to help you out. Okay, we have a lot of people in the group there to help you out, to answer your questions, and to to help you and provide guidance in the freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group. Okay, so once again, join the group. If you're not a member of the group, please join the group. You'll get a lot of guides in, um, a lot of information that you can read, a lot of videos that you can watch to guide you on your journey if you want to become a um, start some, a work from home freelancer. Okay, now, if you want to maximize the benefits of being a freelancer, of, of being a flipper, uh, my recommendation, once again, join the group. And we have some, there, there's, a, there's a post, you know, read this first, okay? And we have different guides there that you can read. There's a downloadable PDF of my top 25 questions of newbie freelancers. And then you can see, how do I start? A lot of you are asking that, how do I start? There's so many, there's like a guide there that you can read 
provide step-by-step -step instructions. Um, just go there to the group and you'll find this post on the very top uh, so that you know, you'll be guided on your journey to be a freelancer. Hindi ka po pwede bang apply Then mag-apply You need to resubmit your profile to answer uh, DG's question. Okay. Um, we also, my recommendation is to also check, we have post topics and threads, uh, workstation thread, if you want to check out people's workstations. Um, for writers, for payment gateways, we have different um, post threads for mga posts na, na related to these different topics. Okay. And utilize the search feature. If you uh, have a question, do a search muna to see if it's been answered before. Okay, do a search. Oh, it's down there. So in the lower left of the group um, of the page, you know, if you join the group, you'll see search this group, and then you can type type your keywords of your question to see if the question has been asked before. Okay. We also have uh, weekly shows. Every week um, on Monday or almost every Monday, I do a Monday motivational video um, just to provide some motivation to our people, <laughs> to you guys. Uh, we have freelancer discussions every Monday at 5 p.m. here on the Facebook page, flip, chat, and chill. So you hear from other freelancers, their experiences, and their insights. And um, one example here is there's a question like hourly or fixed rate, which is a better way to get paid. Okay, so there are a lot of discussions there. Um, freelance interviews. Every Wednesday, there are interviews. So you, if, if you want to hear from people how they started their journey um, from, let's see, for example, see Eden, she was a call center agent before, and now she earns money um, using Instagram, using Instagram. So this was a this was an interview a few months ago, and we have this every week. Every week, but of course, it depends on holidays. There are sometimes no that, but every week this is um, we have these shows. Also, recommend attending webinars. Like this webinar right now is you know thank you for being here, and this is a webinar that we have um, for you guys. And sometimes we do other webinars as well. We might do some in May, more educational webinars just to provide more free education for you guys. Um, usually we have a lot of webinars in the fourth quarter of the year. Uh, we had a series. Um, the recent one was Level Up, Level Up for 2020. We had um, project management, Amazon selling, SEO, a bunch of webinars just to provide more free education for you guys. We also have a lot of blog posts. Okay, so five niches to level up your freelancing career, seven practical ways to feng shui your freelancing business, you know? um, how to get back to work mode after the holidays. So we have a lot of blogs that you can read uh, for to help you on your journey to freelancing. Okay, um, now here, how can you give back to the freelance community? And this is more for like once you, you get hired and you have experience or even if you know the question, the answers to questions. Well, we, we, have, um, we have some weekly contests. Depends. Well, right now during coronavirus, we've kind of um, slowed it down. But with the general quarantine, we might start these again. New weekly contests where we give away things like headsets, my, my equipment and accessories um, to help you guys out. Okay, so we have weekly contests. Join the weekly contests. Um, we give away a lot of free things in our weekly contests. Post questions. If you have any questions, please post them. Um, if you have any concerns regarding freelancing, please post them. And maybe you know some answers um, of other people, of other, other people's questions. Okay, so please um, answer questions as well. But if you see a question that you know the answer to, answer them. And once you are successful, now once you are successful, you can also post your success story. Okay, post your success story. It provides motivation to others as well. Okay. And um, also report any inappropriate posts or comments that you see in the group. So that's the, like the best way that you can give back and make use of the Freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group. Okay. We also have, now, for those of you who are asking about courses, uh, who want to get more education, we have the free VA course. So if you go to this website, freevacourse.com, it's sparing an introduction to becoming a virtual assistant. Okay. It's an introduction to becoming a virtual assistant. Just go to freevacourse.com. That's the website right there. Okay, free VA course, um, and we have a whole lot of courses here. We mentioned earlier um, we have free courses. There's a thread in the group now. We have course on virtual assistant, e-commerce, bookkeeping, writing English, web design, about social media, SEO, email marketing. 
we have mga free courses there that you can take. Once again, this is all these are all this is all free content. You don't need to enroll or pay um, for these. These are all free content. Here, some example now for our VA bootcamp. Our VA bootcamp is a paid course, right? It, if you do want to enroll, we have the VA bootcamp paid course. And here are some of our successful students in the VA bootcamp paid course. I me animation dito. I am a play. We're supposed to animate here. But these are some of our successful students. Um, someone who is wheelchair bound, see Leanne is wheelchair bound. We have call cent former call center agents, former OFWs, former nurses who are now successful freelancers thanks to the VA bootcamp. So if you want to enroll, if you want to enroll in the course, um, Mayan who teaches the courses. I, I teach the course. Um, it's a recorded course. I teach the courses. And um, yeah, you can take it one lesson or module at a time because it's a recorded course. So I, I want to read to you some of our testimonials um, from our, some of our students in the VA bootcamp. So Brian Zenarosa said, Summer so brang to long VA bootcamp sa akin. It's more than just about learning the technical aspects of being a VA. It's also about practical applications in the real freelance world. Um, from having a five dollar per hour rate, so you know, some of you were asking the rate, you know, about five dollars per hour. When I started to experiencing having clients at seventeen dollars per hour, see, so see, Brian Zenner also was able to earn seventeen dollars per hour. That's mga eight hundred fifty pesos every hour. That's a lot of money. Um, so one hour of work is eight hundred fifty pesos. So he started at two hundred fifty per hour. Now he and then he went up to eight hundred fifty. And uh, probably even earning more right now. The VA bootcamp is my best investment. Okay. So the VA boot, um, AJ Madrid said the VA bootcamp is worth buying for newbies. This course will help you save much time because all of the steps that you need to know about freelancing is being discussed here. Also, this course was my stepping stone to achieving one hundred thousand peso per month. Earning so AJ Madrid is able to earn one hundred thousand pesos a month, and the VA bootcamp is what got her started. Yeah, and in the VA course, um, will you assist us until we find a job? Um, we have uh, a program which is called the Hustle Challenge uh, that can assist you in you know assist you in your cover letters and your applications and so on. Okay, so if you want to enroll in the VA bootcamp, um, you know you don't need to enroll, but I would recommend it. Like based on these uh, testimonials, also here, you know you can you can enroll in the virtual assistant bootcamp. Okay, so just giving you that. If you do want to enroll, um, check out our site. But uh, I, I don't have I don't have a slide. But here I, call, I, I thought I had a slide here for it. But check out it's vabootcamp.com or vabootcamp.ph, and then you can choose to enroll in the course. It starts at one thousand four hundred ninety pesos. Okay, if you want to um, enroll in our start in our skills package on an installment basis. All right. Um, okay, so. At the beginning of this webinar, I said you'd have a free gift. Who who here wants to have the free gift? I know some of you guys have dropped off um, towards the end of the webinar. Pero who here is still here and wants to get your free gift? Who here would like to get the free gift? Wala na ba? I don't see any comments here. The free gifts. So what are these free gifts? Once again, the five must-have tools. I but me, me, Simayas, Marian, Janelvi, Meds, I see Lori. Now the free gifts. The five must-have tools to start working from home, and the three most common mistakes newbies make on cover letters. So these are the free gifts waiting for you guys. We'll send them to you. We'll send them to you um, next. Uh, by next Saturday, okay. By next Saturday, we'll send them to you. But to get these free gifts, <coughs> sorry about that. To get these free gifts, um, you need to do the following. First of all, we want you to share this webinar. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Once again, this is a free webinar. Um, yes, you can. We mentioned that you can enroll in our course. May buy your course. You may bootcamp. Better this. This we provide a lot of free information, and this is a free webinar. So share this free webinar. Take a screenshot shot of it, and then second step is leave us. A review okay leave us a review on our facebook page and then go to that website i'm not sure if you can see it here pero vabootcamp.ph slash welcome gifts okay so you can get your welcome gifts go to that website we'll ask you to upload a screenshot of the of you sharing the webinar and of you leaving a review and go to this website 
slash welcome gifts and by the deadline to do this is is this coming friday uh what's what day is what day is this coming friday um i think that's may 8 yeah may 8 yeah so the deadline to do this is may 8 okay so that you can get your free gifts do this by may 8 so that you can get your free gifts we'll send them on may 9 all right so even if you're watching the replay you can still get your free gifts all you have to do is share this webinar leave us a review and fill out the form over on vabootcamp.ph slash welcome gifts okay so just take a screenshot of those um and then fill out the form and we'll send you the five must-have tools to start working from home and the three most common mistakes that newbies make on cover letters and yeah let me let me look at the comments here uh and uh, a lot of people want the free gift see maria see lisa see let see trage trage uh see marie um joy has a question if and, and yeah if you have any questions please type them in the comments below uh no worries number wait no. time number it's six o'clock but i'll answer a few questions for you guys all right so joy if you are a newbie how can you build your a portfolio do you have an apprentice program um in the in the boot camp we have your manga exercises so what we ask our students to do is we have mga ex mga sample mga sample exercises mga sample tasks and these are based on actual tasks that clients give and what you can do is you can work on the tasks you can take screenshots of those tasks and use that for your portfolio okay so that's answer your question joy so you can build your portfolio like that um, apprentice program we have a lot of mga internships Okay, so you can get experience with our internships. Um, it's application basis, new internships. Uh, it's not automatic. We have you have to apply for it. Um, and if you do get, if you do become an intern, you can take screenshots of you know you, what what you've gone through and use them then for your portfolio. Ayan, ayan. Um, if it's installment, do we get modules complete already? Um, Pamela, yes, uh, but you only have you have to you have to make uh, installment payments every 15 days okay so um so to get and then once you're done you get lifetime access uh, pamela to answer your question so once you finish all the installments you get lifetime access and the thing is you'd want to go back usually what people do is they they, they finish the course maybe it takes them one month or two months and then um later on they want to review lessons so that's why lifetime access is important and you won't get that until of course you finish the installment payments uh, unsa ang nice na ibutang sa skills? Depends. Uh, bisaya. Depende sa, ano? Depende sa mong skills, di ba? <laughs> it, it depends. Okay, there are a lot. I was answering English. Okay, masitik sa butong But there are a lot of different skills that you can put. But it really depends on your own area. Di ba? I can't say na you'll put social media na maybe magaling ka sa writing, right? So it depends on what area you're in. Um, what area of expertise you want to focus on? Sample mag leave on review on our Facebook page. On the Facebook page, if you go to our face, VA Bootcamp Facebook page and click on the reviews tab, you will uh, be able to leave a review there. And um, if you go to the website, vabootcamp.ph slash welcome gifts, um, there's a link there to leave a review. All right, all right, shared, not yet, but where it among starts, of course. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what this is referring to. How do you know if the job is legit? Um, to answer your question, Liz, but you're having discussion, then better we have a, a video about that um, on our blog. They have a video about that on our blog. Okay, um, more tips on VA Bootcamp. Um, Les Cecile, you forgot the P. <laughs> VA Bootcamp. Bootcamp. Um, which of the three courses would, would you recommend to someone who is just about to start? The accelerated package, um, Albi, is what I'd recommend. But if you want to start on the on the skills package, you can do that and you can upgrade them. And so, but we do recommend the accelerated package because it includes like the hustle challenge that's very very valuable, um, the 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 cover letter and the profile guidance that's also very important. So um, that's what I'd recommend the accelerated package. In the course of it's pre-recorded, do you make follow up? Uh, to the trainees or how can we approach you if you have questions um there we have uh, pamela we have a facebook group specific for students um you can also email me or the team um if you have questions but we have a we have a facebook group specifically for the students where you know the students ask their questions um and you you'll have access to that once you join 
Um, and we have the hustle challenge na is gui guides you to write cover letters, guides you on applications, um, so that you know you'll you'll get that guidance spe specifically from our coaches. After sharing the webinar, um, that was my comment. Check out. Um, yes, yes, Bell, to answer your question. Can I have lifetime access too, so I can go over and over again? Um, the course? Oh, you can get lifetime access. Enroll if you enroll in the course, <laughs> you'll get lifetime access to it. I thank you, Marites, for sharing that link. Uh, most of the sites require testimonials for you to be approved. Paano yun? Hindi pa kami nag-start. Um, portfolio, you mean, Maria? Uh, we, you can, like, we have mga samples. You can create mga samples. Like, in, in the course, we ask you to create your own samples. We have mga sample scenarios. And then you can you can solve the problems and take screenshots of them. Shout out po from Bohol. Nito kayo o pronunciation, sir. <laughs> like your English. Uh, thank you, Hilwa. Anak yun mga bisaya. Yes, definitely. You will be assisted. Uh, you can email Jason for posts. Uh, Sermi schedules, but um, it's 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 pre-recorded. Yung yung courses, because you can take them anytime. Um, so there's no specific schedule. Uh, share through Messenger. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, e-commerce, QuickBooks and bookkeeping included is accelerated. So actually, very solid. Uh, if we're going to pay via bank transfer, will you be providing the account number? Yes. Once you um, go on the website and choose bank transfer and you submit, um, you'll see the details. We'll also email them to you. So yep, you'll get the account number. Study at your own pace. Yes. Uh, Sampo po pwedeng makita yung topics na kasama sa accelerated package. Uh, go to the website, vabootcamp.ph slash enroll. Uh, maybe someone can type that out to Grace's question. vabootcamp.ph slash enroll. Uh, you'll see them there when you scroll down. You'll see the list there. Okay. Okay. Uh, it doesn't like, it doesn't look like we have additional, any more questions here? Oh, thank you, Mary Joy. <laughs> All right, um, so that is it. Don't forget to claim your free gifts. Uh, take us once again, share this, uh, leave us a review, and fill out the form on vabootcamp.ph slash welcome gifts. We're a little bit, we're like six minutes past the time, but thank you everybody for spending your Saturday afternoon um, with us. And I hope you learned something. Was this helpful for you? Let me know if this was helpful for you. If you learned something from this webinar, and yes, we have a lot of other free content. Don't forget to join the group. Don't forget to you know check out a lot of our, a lot of our other free content to help you on your work from home online freelancing journey. All right, um, it's up to you. Oh, okay, um, Maria. Yeah, boy, you can you can upgrade to lifetime uh, lifetime access. Send me an email or send or message one of the team members, and you can upgrade to lifetime access. Okay, thank you so much, everybody, for staying on, and you have a great rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.